What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another sneaker huddle review. As you can tell, today we have an on foot look and review and my thoughts and opinions on a dunk that has been around for quite some time. And this one, I was very, very surprised for it to fall into my hands for a retail price. And that's because Nike sneakers decided to shock drop these about a week ago, just randomly. And if you did miss out on the shock drop, just be sure to hit the top link in the description below and follow us sneaker huddle on Twitter and enable post notifications. And as you can tell from the post here, there were tons and tons of sneaker huddle members and viewers uh, that were able to hit our new because of the shock drop. Um, or at least get their entry in for the chance to because it was a draw you did have a few minutes to enter uh, but if it wasn't for that tweet notification possibly a few of you even watching the video uh, perhaps you know took a w just because of that so if you haven't already be sure to follow us on twitter and enable post notifications but in today's video we have one of the most anticipated dunks of the entire year and of course this is a sb I really, really hope that Nike Sneakers continues to shock drop these SB dunks because if you're a sneaker head, it has been, you already know, it's been almost absolutely impossible to cop. So I really, really hope that Nike Sneakers continues to restock or just shock drop these Nike SB dunk lows in the futures. And we might even see that for the Bart Simpson. So with the uh, SB rant out of the way, let's go ahead and get into today's video, which we'll be talking about the Nike SB Dunk Low Paisley. Now, the first thing that I thought about when I actually saw this SB Dunk was obviously I love the color brown. Brown has been a major trend uh, starting back in I think like 2020 is when the color brown started to pop off. It started to become one of the most popular colors out there to wear. And the hits of pink is initially kind of what caught my eye. But the thing on this SB Dunk, once you get it in natural light, that was really, really surprising is I didn't really notice how much green paisley print is actually equipped within the upper of the sneaker. And from the B-roll here, you'll be able to see it for yourself. And hopefully you can kind of, if you don't have the sneaker, you'll be able to tell if this is one that you do want to pay resale for, because at the moment, I don't think that these are gonna shock drop or restock anytime soon, unless you get really, really lucky at a skate shop. They also come equipped with, of course, you have the primary brown overlays on the upper of the sneaker, which we'll get into the upper, what's underneath it in just one second. But also you have the paisley print, which is primarily green. And then you have accents of blue and pink that are all across the upper of the sneaker, just all around it. And with the tongue here, you get Nike SB labeling there and a very premium tumbled leather. And that premium tumbled leather is also featured on the heel in that same brown color palette with the uh, famous embroidered Nike logo. And then you get that super uh, soft tumbled leather on the Nike swooshes on the outer and also the inner. And then white is of course equipped on the laces. And if you're not a big fan of the white laces, they do come with a swap out lace in the same color brown that matches the primary color of the upper of the sneaker that's underneath the paisley print and then we obviously you can tell that it is in the middle of the sneaker we have a white midsole with a gum outsole and in the middle of the gum outsole which you may or may not even ever see this if you have seen the sneaker yet or not but you do get a pink uh, air unit right in the center of the sneaker. Now, when it comes to sizing for the Nike SB Dunk Lows, I personally go up half a size in all dunks because I find them to fit a little more narrow. I'm a little more of a wide footer, uh, not super wide, but a little, a little wide. So I do go up half a size and I do find that this one right here is, I, it, the fact that it was a shock drop, um, my girlfriend actually hit on these and it's programmed as a size 10, which is my true to size in most Air Jordan 1s, Air Jordan 4s. So we didn't really have time to, to change it uh, to a 10.5, but happy to have the size 10. But would recommend if you are going to purchase this sneaker to go up half a size. Now, the other detail that I haven't really heard too much people talk about is the corner of the sneakers on the edges here. You do get, uh, it's not a super premium leather, but you do get leather edges all on the uh, outer portions of each and every panel. So that's something that I wasn't aware that was equipped on the sneaker until I actually got them in hand. Now, my overall thoughts and opinions on the Nike SB Dunk Glow Paisley 
is this is a very, very difficult sneaker to style. You can't really do too much with it, but when it comes to the colorway, I absolutely love it. Of course, I love the color brown. It's once again, one of my favorite colors to style with various uh, outfits. And I really, really love the pink, the blue. I could have maybe possibly left a little bit of the green paisley out, just my personal preference. But if you love the Nike SB Dunk Low and you love the colors that are equipped in this sneaker, then you absolutely cannot go wrong. Now, we would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on the Nike SB Dunk Low Paisley down below in the comments and comment where you're able to at least enter from the shock drop from our Twitter account. And if you haven't followed us on Twitter, please go ahead and do so. It's the top link in the description below and enable post notifications. And if you're new to the channel and you love sneaker content, be sure to hit that subscribe button. God bless each and every one of you. Have a great day.